Uh, my name is Ross, and I teach uh, anatomy, and I work at a community college. I work with pigs, and sometimes I actually get to work with fish. So we are in Hawaii. Does, does anyone know where Hawaii is? Hawaii, you know where Hawaii is? It's in America. Yeah, it's in America. It's actually a long way from most of America. We're out in the middle of the uh, Pacific Ocean. I think we're about 14,000 kilometers away from Ramallah. So that's, that's pretty far. What are the students learning right now? What, what, uh, are, is this like a biology class? Um, we're actually taking a lesson on animals, and we had eight animals um, that we had to study their characteristics. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with that. So I think these are the questions that you sent to me to ask for each animal. Yeah. So the students are familiar with these, right? Uh-huh. Okay. So let's do the first animal. Anybody know what this is? It's a, it's a, Turtle. It's a tortoise, so it's very, very close to a turtle. It's a land tortoise. So how does a tortoise defend itself, do you think? Mm. With, his, with, with its shell. Okay, its shell. Was that the minion that said, yeah, it's got a big shell. How does the shell protect it? How does the shell protect it? Because it's hard. The shell is hard. It's, it's hard. Okay. Well, if you had to protect yourself, do you think having a shell would be a very good way to do that? So one of the students, is saying, Sammy, is saying that if an animal comes close to the tortoise, it will hide inside the shell. Yeah. So if you all played with a tor turtle or a tortoise, they pull their arms in so they can't be, be eaten, but how fast do they move? How fast do they go? You know, Alina? Very, really slow. Really slow. Very, very slow. Why do you think they move so slowly? <laughs> so why are they slow? Because they're saying that uh, it's slow because they have a hard uh, uh, heavy shell. Right. Exactly. So there's a, we call those like trade-offs. You can have a big shell or heavy armor plating, but may not move so quickly. Okay. So the shell doesn't move very quickly. Okay. Here we have a turtle, a tortoise, and an iguana. So, what group of animals do tortoises and lizards belong to? They are saying not mammals, and Jerry is saying reptiles. Reptiles, yeah, they are reptiles. So they're all scaly and and, and uh, they're cold-blooded. So how is a, a Iguana different. It doesn't have a shell. So how does it defend itself? So they're saying because it changes the color. Chameleon. Okay, so chameleons change colors. Iguana's not so much, much a little bit, yeah. How else? Um, yes, some students are saying they hide between the leaves because the color will not be able to be seen. Right, okay, they can hide, so they're kind of cryptic. And, what else? You're close, right? He's fast. He's fast, a lot faster than a tortoise, right? Is he fast? Is he a lizard? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's very fast. Okay. Okay. All right. What is this? What is that? Anybody? Yeah, it's related to a puffer. It's actually called a, a box fish uh, or cow nose fish. A box but, fish? Yeah. And the outside is very, very hard. Oh, It's like a fish with a shell. How do you think it defends itself? Um, the name is saying that it hides in the corner. Okay, it can hide. It's kind of, how well do you think it camouflages itself? Um, yes, Karine. She blows. She blows. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, probably not blows, but it, it is hard. So it's kind of like got 
its own shell. So let's, let's go into another one. What about this guy? Anybody know what that animal is on the bottom left? A porcupine. Okay, and what's the, what's the fish up at the top right? It is a puffer fish, okay? It's a porcupine puffer fish. How do they defend themselves? But they're sharp, uh, pointy. They're sharp, pointy. They're called quills. Do you all have porcupines in Ramallah? Are there porcupines there? Do you see any pointy parts on the fish? Yeah. 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 Listen, those Okay. What would happen if you attack that porcupine? He shoots his quills out. Yeah. Do you think that's pretty effective at keeping things from biting a porcupine? Okay. We have a question actually here. Um, yeah. Porcupine. Natasha is asking, do porcupines shoot quills? Do they shoot their quills? Yeah. That I don't know. We don't actually have porcupines in Hawaii. I know they, they lose them very easily. I don't think they sh shoot them, but uh, I, we don't have them in Hawaii, nor did we have them where I used to live in, in Kentucky, so I've never actually encountered one. But uh, if you live in Texas and your dog gets a hold of a porcupine, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's not very pleasant. Okay, what's this animal? Dolphin. How is the dolphin suited to its environment? We have any answers? It swims. So what suits it very well for swimming? What does it have that helps it to swim? Uh, what's it looks and flippers. Excellent. Hooks and flippers. Yeah. So it's got flippers and it's got a big tail, right? It's real muscular. Does it have any armored plating? Does it have a shell? No, no. So how does it survive without a shell? It's fast. Splashing. Splash. It's fast. It's fast. Yeah, so what kind of things might try to eat uh, a dolphin? He can hit somebody with the... With the uh, yeah. yeah. He can defend himself with the hooks. Um, they're saying that it can defend itself with its hooks, the tail. Can okay, yeah, the tail. It, and it's just really fast. It can swim out and it can actually punch like a shark with its nose. It's pretty good at uh, defending itself. So mainly they're just really, really fast. How do dolphins splash water? How do they splash water? So they swim up with their tail and then they go back down. They don't even really use their fins like, you know, on the outside. They mainly use their tail, and the fins are like airplane wings uh, that help them to pitch and yaw. So it's mainly the tail that's generating the force and helping them splash. So what animal is this? What animal is this? Polar bear. Polar bear. Okay. So how is a polar bear suited to its environment? This is bear and... Okay. What is special about the fair? You can tell me that. Because it doesn't have any color, but it's very
What other animals does it attack? Okay. They are endangered. Okay, they're endangered. So what do they feed on? What do they feed on? Okay, fish, and but they could also feed on other other mammals too, right? They could feed on seals. They, no. Okay. Yes or no? Yeah. 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 Do they feed on seals? Yes, they can feed on seals. Okay. Can they swim? Yeah. They just can't swim really long distances, unfortunately. Yeah. So, yeah. what about their hair? What what color is their hair? What's the color of their hair? That's it. Hair's red. No, white. White. Okay. Do you all know that the hair is actually hollow? What? The hair follicles are hollow. It helps keep them warm. All right, let's move on. What's this animal? Skunk. Okay, so how does a skunk protect himself? They use a, an odor, right? It smells really bad. Have you ever been sprayed by a skunk? Who ever smelled a skunk? Me, me. That's a very bad smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 Did someone get Okay, can you please tell us more about um, why does it spray smell? Miss, can I, oh, I have a can. So, it has scent glands or uh, tail glands in the back, uh, near, near the back end that spray a very noxious chemical that burns the eyes and, and it smells really bad. So it's more of a, a deterrent. If a dog were to go up and try to bite one of these, he would get sprayed and he probably wouldn't do it again. What about the color do you notice about skunks? Anything unique about their color? What do you think about the color? Alina. It's uh, the black part is very dark. Very dark. It's uh, it's kind of stripy, right? We don't see a lot of stripes in nature. What kind of other animals have stripes or things like that? Animals have stripes. A zebra and a zebra. Okay. What about these stripes right here? So there's bees and hornets and wasps. They all have a particular coloration, right? If a bug were to land on you and it had a stripy pattern like that, would you be worried? Would you be worried? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's not because it's I don't see hands up. Natasha. Yeah, because sometimes it's a bee. Yeah. Right. What do bees do? Oh, oh, oh can they sting you? Okay. Sting you. So, animals that have stingers, like bees, tend to have very stripy, contrasting patterns that warn predators to stay away. Do bees eat bugs? Uh, no, it depends. Bees there, the one on the right is a bumblebee. What do they eat? Yeah. What's inside the flower? Honey. Um, they're saying that it's the nectar from inside the flower. Right. So this one's got pollen, which is the kind of the nectar, and they collect the pollen uh, in that right picture. And you know, they also fertilize other flowers. Whereas hornets and some other of these uh, insects will actually actually feed on other uh, insects. The one at the bottom left actually feeds on locusts, whoops, or cicadas. Uh, so some of these insects do eat, eat other bugs, and some of them 
you know, eat pollen and, and nectar from flowers. The bee, when it's still here, it dies because the yeah. mine, it, when it goes away, uh, it's, uh, they, they, it does. They okay. Right. Yeah, Yeah, so some of the bees do die after they sting you. So why would it be a good idea to have a stinger before you have to sting someone? Do polar bears eat salmon? No, no, polar bears, uh, grizzly bears eat salmon. Um, polar bears, I don't think, I don't think there's salmon up there in the area. Maybe, I, I don't know, it's a good question, but grizzly bears certainly eat a whole lot of salmon. Uh, I don't think polar bears do. All right, um, what kind of animal is this? Does anybody know? It's an animal. Do you know what's this animal? Yeah, it's a snake. Okay. It's a snake. Is it a snake? It's not a snake. They're actually fish. So these are fish that live in a sand at a beach. And they're only about uh, three centimeters, four centimeters long. So they're small. So how do you think these animals protect themselves? The color of it. By the color, okay. by the color. How does the color help them? It helps them to hide because it's kind of the same color as rocks. Very good. Excellent. That's very, very good. So we call that camouflaging because really they're, they're kind of the same color as the sand and they're very difficult to eat. And what do you think they eat? I think they eat the other fish's eggs. Okay, they eat eggs. They actually, let's see if we can make this work. All right, we can play this. This is just a video of these fish feeding. They're normally just in the stand, but then we'll put a little food in that tank and see what happens. Can you all see that? Can you all see the food? No. Yeah, they're really fast. Okay, yeah, they're really fast. So they're able to go up and, and catch their food very, very quickly, and then they burrow back down in the sand again. So they just go out briefly, get their food, and then they return home again uh, and hide. Yeah. Interesting, very interesting. All right. Um, do you all have any other animals you want to talk about? Why does the skunks make a really bad smell? Well, a, a lot of animals have a smell glands that help them to mark territories, but we think the skunk, that's its defense, is to make a very bad smell, and they spray it out of their backside, and it usually goes in the eyes, and it's, you know, I imagine pretty painful as well. And so it gives the skunk time to escape. So it helps them to escape. How does the hedgehog protect itself? Um, Natasha is asking about the hedgehog. How does it protect itself? Well, the hedgehog, do you have them over there? Do you have hedgehogs? They almost eat things as it eats So we have just few? Yeah. Okay. Our students are saying that we have few uh, hedgehogs in Palestine. Okay. So they kind of roll into a ball from what I've seen and they protect their underbelly by rolling into a ball. And I think they either have little armor plates or spines on the outside that help them, make them not very interesting to a predator. Mm. Did you hear that too, eh? So they roll into a ball. That's how they protect themselves. That's because they yeah, they're all into a ball to protect themselves. Okay. Um, the last thing I had, I think you had something on your list, which, what was the difference between forest and jungle? Yes, exactly. So the difference between forest and jungle, okay? So does anybody know? Do you know, 2A, what's the difference between forest and jungle? Yeah. Any ideas, Munib? Yeah. The, the, the jungle has... Like, 
So Muneev is saying that jungles are bigger and they have more trees than a forest. Okay, that's kind of. Uh, let's see. So, do you have a forest near you at all? Are there any forests in uh, Palestine? Do we have forests in Palestine to a? Yeah. 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 Have you ever walked through a forest? Have you ever walked through a forest? Yeah. Oh yeah. When you go I have never Okay. Okay. All right, so this is a forest. You can see people can walk through it. They're down at the bottom. Uh, they have really tall trees. And the, the stuff at the bottom, there's not as much vegetation. On the other hand, the jungle, there's several definitions, kind of looks like this. How is it different? That's a picture of a jungle to a. Do you see the difference between a jungle yeah, and a jungle forest? Yeah, jungle has vines. Yeah, okay, there's vines. How easy would it be to walk through that? Mm, that's that's very easy. easy. Look, look again at the picture. How easy is it to walk through a jungle to a? It's so easy. Do you think? Which? <laughs> what do you think you would need to walk through that jungle? Where do you think it's easier to walk to a in a forest or through a jungle? Forest. Natasha. Okay, so if you see people in a jungle, they have a big knife, right? And they're cutting the vines back and things like that. So there's several definitions of jungles, but one of them is that they just have more stuff growing underneath the trees, and it makes it more difficult to go through there. Uh, more times, they tend to be more tropical than, than temperate. No, that's all I have for my presentation. If, do you have any other questions? Jurgis is asking how many are there, uh, how many hedgehogs are there in the world? <laughs> oh, I don't even know. That's a good question. We don't have hedgehogs here in Hawaii. We don't have uh, hedgehogs in Hawaii. I don't know the answer. Yeah, sorry. The and the fish like it. Why yeah. what? Why does a fish like a porcupine? It's a porcupine fish. Do you have you a think? fish like a porcupine? So do you think the porcupine and the fish are related or no? No, she's asking about a fish that looks like a porcupine. I don't know if you've seen that before. Yeah, that was the porcupine fish. Let me see if I can find it. Why is it? Her name, like, the porcupine. Oh, she's asking, why is it called the porcupine fish? Maybe you can answer that, Karin. Why do you think? What does it have on her body? Do you remember yes. the picture? He showed us a picture. Yeah. So what did you see on her body? Quills. Quills. Yeah. Is that these, how, yeah. They don't come off, but if you try to bite that animal, it, it would be very painful. Uh, how fast do you think that fish swims? Do you think it's fast or slow? Slow. She thinks it's slow. It's very slow. You could you can swim faster than that fish can. You can so swim faster than it. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. okay any more questions, Bethan? Um, is the porcupine slower than the t the tortoise? Uh, the porcupine, I think, is faster than the tortoise, yeah. It's faster, it's not slower. Karin? Are animals important? She's asking if animals are important. Yeah, I think so. Do you think so? Do you think so, Karin? Do you think they are? You don't need them. Okay. Any other questions to A? I think they're very important. Anything else? <laughs> okay, um, yeah, thank I think you very much. What are you going to test him? Yes, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice to meet everybody. You have a good rest of the day.